This lesson is going to discuss the factors that affect enzyme reactions. Remember, enzymes speed up chemical reactions. So there are three main things that can affect the reaction rate. Temperature, pH, and concentration. We'll go through each of them individually in order to see how each of the factors can affect the rate of an enzyme-controlled reaction. The very first factor that we're going to discuss is the effect of temperature. How does temperature affect reactions? Well, a couple of things you need to recall back to your physical science kind of days is that as temperature decreases, molecules move slower. On the reverse side, as temperature increases, molecules move faster. And if you can remember, reactions occur due to collisions. In terms of temperature, if we decrease the temperature, the rate of the reaction decreases. On the flip side, as the temperature increases, the rate of the reaction increases, but there's a catch. It then decreases. We'll discuss that in a second. Let's relate this back to our collisions. If the molecules are moving faster and faster as the temperature increases, that means that they're going to have a better chance of colliding. The more collisions we have, the more reactions we have, which makes sense that if the temperature is increasing, the rate of the reaction should at least at some point increase. The flip side happens with the temperature decreasing, molecules moving slower, they have less of a chance to collide, therefore fewer reactions will take place. But why is it that the rate decreases when you get to a certain temperature? Well, if we look at our graph, this is a standard kind of generic looking graph if on my y-axis is reaction rate increasing as we go up and temperature increasing on the x-axis, we see this kind of camel hump. At one point, there's a maximum rate of reaction, but on either end, the reaction rate is essentially nothing. So why is it that the reaction rate goes up? We understand that it goes up because the molecules are moving faster as the temperature is increasing. But why the decrease? Well. What happens is, is as we heat up that protein or that enzyme for our chemical reaction, that enzyme does something called denaturation. We have a denaturation of the enzyme. The enzyme shape actually breaks down. It starts to unfold the shape of the protein. And we remember back to proteins and enzyme function, if the enzymes are not 